2014 Honda is shaking up the bagger cruiser market with this, the CTX 1300. So you're looking at the CTX 1300, and you're probably wondering, what the heck is this thing? Is it a touring bike or is it a cruiser? Well, my definition of it is a new age cruiser. It's how Honda is attacking the cruiser market. Instead of making another cookie cutter V-twin classically styled cruiser, this is what Honda is trying to do. Something different, something new age, something more contemporary to appeal to, to a newer generation rider. First off, the, the CTX 1300 is definitely not gonna be for everyone. If you really like that, that shake, rattle, and roll, like traditional feel of a, of a metric or American V-twin cruiser, probably not gonna like this thing. But if you really, really appreciate a refined riding experience, you don't want the engine to be all buzzy and hiccupy. You don't want the meters to shake. You don't want the clutch to lurch. You want it to just a really proper motorcycle that functions as well as a brand new car then you're gonna love this thing. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how, how well calibrated of a motorcycle it is. The V4 engine has power everywhere, uh, gobs of torque in any gear. It comes off the line real good. The, the motor's actually got a lot of character. I mean, uh, just kind of getting away from, from the stop signs, I could hear the other guys on their bikes and it, it had like a nice little growl to it. Like, I, I really like the sound of this engine. And at the same time, it's got a nice sound, but it's so smooth. Like, it doesn't have any hiccups. Like, it doesn't do anything wrong. It's just such a well-calibrated motorcycle. Like, the throttle response is just dead precise on. It's not too snappy, it's not too sluggish, it's just totally well metered. Um, the handling's phenomenal, it has a really, really low center of gravity, and uh, it's a little bit long in, in the wheelbase, but it, it actually steers really maneuverably, and it's stable too. Probably my only one gripe with the overall handling is the shock and the fork are a little bit like fast. It's kind of a springy ride. Um, I think that's kind of how they got the comfort so high. Like you can ride this thing over like rough pavement and bumps and it, it, it soaks them up real nice, but it kind of springs up kind of fast, kind of gets a little bit of a bouncy ride. And that's just me by myself. I mean, I'm sure if you had both hard cases loaded down with gear and a passenger, it's probably gonna be even more springy. But uh, that's probably my only gripe on, on the overall handling. Um, there's really not a whole lot to say that I, bad about this bike. It's not my cup of tea. I definitely wouldn't get one. I'd want something more sporty. But if you're looking for a bike that you can kind of like, you know, experience that wind in your hair and uh, put gear in it, you know, go on a on an overnight trip, you know, take your chick with you or whoever with you and just kind of go cruising. This thing's awesome.